the given image shows typical findings of. So we have a image here of the hand. Let's try to analyze this image. It has claw like appearance. The skin appears thick and shiny and there is deformation of the digits. Okay. So now what are the options? Marfan syndrome, scleroderma, Paget's disease and all of the above. Now a very likely chance of this answer to be all of the above is high because most of us would think that these are all diseases of bones and joints and here the features are also of bones and joints. But let us try to understand that Paget's disease, it affects only skull bone, spine, pelvis and lower extremities. Okay. So it is not going to affect hands and the digits as much as the other diseases. So Paget's disease is a less likely answer to this. That is why option 3 and 4 are automatically eliminated. So that leaves us with Marfan syndrome and scleroderma. Now we have very typical features in Marfan syndrome which are also uh, the classic hallmark features of that disease. So that is not claw like hands, that is arachnoductyly. Arachnoductyly, which I am going to show you subsequently in the explanation. But these uh, claw like hands are very typical of scleroderma. See here the word derma is also a giveaway because the skin is also affected with the joint. So the, uh, the skin becomes hardened and atrophic and cannot be wrinkled or picked up because of fix for, uh, firm fixation to the deep connective tissue. So here the skin is very stiff and rubbery. Okay, This contracture of the skin gives a mask like appearance to the face and claw like appearance to the hands. So these claw like hands are typical of scleroderma. On the other hand Marfan syndrome will have this kind of a of uh, disfigurement where the digits are long the thumb is extremely long and it can be extended there is hyper flexibility of these joints the fingers are disproportionately long and the extremities are very thin so these features are typical of Marfan syndrome and the given question is typical of scleroderma